Wait, are you serious? Because we're less than 12 hours away from the big regionals tournament and you're thinking about making this drastic change? Yeah, I, we did what, three games? Yeah, three, three games. Against, against Luvia, I lost all three games. And a big thank you to the Pokemon Company for gifting me these free passes to regionals. They have a 13th floor. That's surprising. Okay, so we're waiting to meet for the very first time. He's gonna come in right through that door, I'm assuming. I'm a little nervous. It's okay to be nervous. I'm meeting somebody for the first time, right? Like I've seen his content, we've been texting back and forth, and so this is the first time that we're actually meeting in person. I'm really excited, but I'm nervous. I'm Little Dark Fury. You may know me from my YouTube channel, Little Dark Fury, where I like to play a lot of fun and creative rogue decks over on the Pokemon Training Care Game Online slash live. My first ever tournament that I ever attended was, I think, a regional championship back, I think it must have been 2010. Um, it was in Toronto, and I remember going to this one specifically, and I ended up bringing a uh, Nido King Machamp deck. The Machamp was uh, from the set Stormfront. Uh, it's one of my favorite cards of all time. Basically, Machamp has the attack takeout that instantly knocks out your opponent's basic Pokemon. It's one of my favorite cards of all time, mainly because it's the first like competitive card I brought to an actual tournament. The thing that kind of got me into playing the game was honestly just kind of my love for Pokemon. I mean, back in the day, I grew up playing the video games and also watching the anime. Thankfully, there was a local league that was very close to where I lived at the time. And honestly, I've met a lot of amazing people through that specific league who I still talk to to this day. I keep looking over at the door. I'm like, is he here? <laughs> okay, so it's Thursday right now. So the event doesn't really even start till Saturday. We still got Friday tomorrow. And then we're gonna kind of, you know, see behind the scenes of what his prep is gonna be when it comes to right before day one. If there's any last minute deck modifications, maybe it's just opening up booster packs for fun and hanging out with people, play testing, whatever it may be, we're gonna capture it all. We're gonna give you the behind the scenes. Listen, Little Dark Fury is absolutely awesome and really, really knows the Pokemon TCG. Please go show that Breaking Family love and support to Little Dark Fury. I'm putting Little Dark Fury's YouTube channel down in the video description. Go and subscribe, go check out some videos. I'm telling you, Little Dark Fury is an awesome, awesome person. So when preparing for a major tournament, here are some things that I like to bring personally so that I'm prepared for the tournament and I can do my best. These are some of the things that I like to personally bring. So the first thing is obviously your main deck. Now the deck that I'm going to be most likely playing to the Noxo Originals is my Flying Pikachu Weezing deck. The idea behind this deck is it's an anti-meta deck that tries to beat both Lost Box and Lugia. I think it's a pretty cool deck and with Lost Box winning OCIC, I expect to see a lot more of it in Knoxville, and that is why I am bringing this deck. But that doesn't mean that I don't want to bring other decks. It's always good to have backup decks. I do have Lost Box and Lugia here. Not only if I ever change my mind and don't want to play the Pikachu deck, I can always switch over to a Lost Box deck or a Lugia deck. You want to make sure that your deck selection is really good and you have picked the perfect deck for the tournament, and you want to make sure that you know your matchups in and out, or maybe you're missing a card in the deck that might help you in a certain scenario. So having extra decks to bring with you to test against is very, very important. Pokemon International Championships 2022 deck box here that I have, and this is what I am using for my main deck. The nice thing about this and uh, some other deck boxes is that it can hold two things. I do have dice. Uh, it's very important to have dice with you. Obviously, when you play the game, you need dice to call coin flips, put damage counters on. Uh, this Machamp here is my... V-Star marker that I use. You're allowed to use really anything as a V-Star marker. It is also nice to bring a playmat with you. You probably want to use a playmat when you're playing your game. Uh, when you do go to regional, uh, when you're playing in it, you are able to actually get a free playmat uh, when you check in the day before the tournament. This uh, Reggie Lecky mat that I got was from the Toronto Regional Championships. So you can get mats for checking in if you don't have one, but you definitely wanna use a play mat while you're playing. I also like having a spare set of sleeves. Very important to have extra sleeves with you. These are the Tangerine Dragon Shield sleeves, which I do have on my main Pikachu Weezing deck here. Hey! <laughs> We're recording everything. Up? Bring it in. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you as well. Nice All right. So, the initial meet, I was nervous. Really? Was, really? I was nervous. Well, yeah. You know, when you oh, meet somebody for the nervous. first time, yeah, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. right? So, you are a lot bigger than me. I was pretty nervous too. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> no, it's an honor to meet you, man. It's an honor you to meet too. You. So, to meet you too. we're gonna we're gonna shadow 
all weekend long, yep. all right? Figure out what it's like to be a competitive Pokemon TCG player. So I'm just gonna bug you all weekend long. Yeah, no worries. Just be your shadow. I didn't want to play Reggie's again because Rahul just did so well with it. That was kind of worried people would like be like, okay, Reggie's is like popular, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tech against it. Right, and you played Reggie's in Orlando. Yeah. So okay. And the, the deck is really good, and honestly, it's my backup deck. Like if I don't okay. like this deck, then I'm most likely going back to Reggie's. But this is the deck that I brought. I've got Flying Pikachu, Weezing. Um, and I guess like the other Pokemon in the deck here is the Aerodactyl V-Star for the okay, Lugia nice. matchup. Yeah. Nice. So basically the strategy of the deck is Weezing shuts off the abilities of uh, your opponent's Pokemon when it's in the active. So when you're playing against Lost Box, yeah. they can't use Comfy's ability. Like unless you're playing against a Giratina deck, which is not popular right now, they can't touch the Pikachu. So you just sit there and just max balloon them and they can't do anything. Uh, let me see here. You gotta play the big paracels. I got two yep. of these in the deck. So you put that on your flying Pikachu, and the Sableye can't do its lost mine attack, which uh, puts 12 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon wherever they like, which is a pretty big attack. But when you put the Parasol on your Pikachu, they can't do lost mine at all. Like they can't, the yeah, damage goes they're nowhere. They're stuck at that point, yeah. Yep. Um, and Lugia's also like one of the easiest decks to pilot right now. So a lot of like people that are coming to Knoxville because it's their first tournament will probably play Lugia because it's easier to play. It's you know, more straightforward and it's yeah. very good. Tournament aside, are you looking to, to grab any cards this weekend from any of the vendors? There's actually plenty. Um, the rotation's coming up, so I'm yeah. gonna see if I can pick up some uh, rotation staples. Nest Ball, Judge are some big ones I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna try to get the full art version. That's another thing too. I wanna, I wanna get all the full art supporters for this deck. Um, I have Boss. I don't have Marnie. Marnie's expensive. Yeah. So I'm, I don't know about Marnie, but I need I need another Polaris experiment. I really like the no, Crown Zenith one. Yeah. yeah, I just like the really color good. on it. I already got recognized in the hotel lobby. When I was oh, really? Playing. Yeah. I didn't even get it on camera. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so with it being Friday, what is the typical things that we need to do on a Friday, like the day before the tournament actually starts? Well, we got to check in, make sure we're all good. Um, while we check in, we also get like a free play mat and like I think like a free hat and like a free promo card. It's oh, the wow. people from the YouTubes. Yeah. I know these people. Uh, <laughs> say hello. 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 Hi. I've your ID and your player ID. We've officially Hi. entered into the arena, the stadium here. So what is our next step? So I'm gonna go check in and I'm gonna go get my swag bag. I'm excited to see what the mat is. And then I'm gonna go look around at the vendors and buy some full arts and some stuff. Hey there, how's it going? All right. Good. Can I get your player ID, please? Would you like a mat or hat? Uh, I'll take a mat. Perfect, that works. And then here's your promo card as well. And best of luck. Thank you. Take care, you good too. luck. Thanks. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, oh and they got the Umbreon over there too. Nice so yeah, I got, got the tickets for the Pokemon TCG Open, and you got to buy four of them. And I think we got to go over there to go uh, finish signing up for the tournament. Yeah, so what do you want to sign up for? Uh, Pokemon TCG Open. TCG Open? Is it going to be up at the main stage? Oh, okay, all right. I figured it wasn't over there, because yeah. Michelle was over there. So. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, not bad. Yep. So you're signed up. We're in. And so this open is standard, okay. correct? Yeah, standard format, yep. Round one, just completed. What's the what's the details here? Oh and one. I was playing Reggie's against uh, Lindsay, who I got paired against. Round one! You get paired against Lindsay. It was rigged. <laughs> so what are you playing this weekend? I'm playing Lugia. Lugia. Playing Lugia. All right. Literally between that or Lost Zone box stuff, uh -huh. but there's so many like tiny micro decisions. It's really right. mentally well, we'll exhausting to play all day. Exactly. That's what we were talking about last night. Is you know like you really have to just have like the energy. I get through a build and battle and I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what are we at? We're one and one right now with Reggie's uh, in the second game. I played against the Lugia deck and Marnie Path is a very good combo. What's your What's your record at? 2-0, 2 0. 2 0. Orton is the MVP. <laughs> Best card ever. <laughs> Cobra had him. Cobra had him. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Yeah, and I got the Taurus too. Perfect. 
Mission yeah. complete. Finally, we got him. I'm 2 1 also. I won my game against Mew. Relaxing. The day is over. Friday, right? We're all just kind of chilling in the lobby right now. So, give us an update. Last round. So, yeah, I went, uh, I ended up going 3 and 1 with the Reggie deck, played against a Lugia deck. So. I hit yeah. three Lugia decks in the tournament. Big surprise there. Three Lugia decks? So what What did you place then overall? I'm not sure actually. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I just got like the- We're gonna say first. Yeah. yeah let's <laughs> My only two losses in Orlando were against Mew and this is like an auto win against Mew, this card right here. But I didn't hit a single Mew today, but- I didn't even see a single Mew. And I'm not gonna know the right decision until tomorrow. <laughs> And a big thank you to the Pokemon Company for gifting me these free passes to regionals. We actually do it not at eight. We have, what, seven and a half hours? Wait, are you serious? Because we're less than 12 hours away from the big regionals tournament and you're thinking about making this drastic change? Yeah, I, we did, what, three games? Yeah, three, three games. Against Lugia, I lost all three games. To be fair, my draws weren't great. I whiffed Aerodactyl a couple times, but the more I played the deck, the more it felt bad. Reggie's felt really good. Reggie's, <laughs> wait, Reggie's guy, you're Reggie's guy. Yeah. When, when do you feel like you'll make the decision, tonight or tomorrow? Let's see what my dreams say. Okay. It's happened to me before. I'll dream about a deck the day before a tournament, and then that dream will dictate if I play, because it'll be on my mind all night. Yeah. So I'll inevitably dream about it. I have a dream about Reggie's, I'll rock with Reggie's. But I'm honestly, unfortunately, leaning towards Reggie right now. As somebody who likes to play rogue decks, I always try my hardest to make sure the rogue deck is as good as I can make it, especially going into a major tournament. If you were to go into a major tournament playing a meta deck, you're probably gonna have a better time doing well when playing a rogue deck where you might struggle a little bit more. You maybe didn't test the deck as much. Uh, but the, the benefit of playing a rogue deck is that it catches the opponent off guard and they don't know what to expect. My process when building a deck is actually very interesting because as a content creator, I like to build decks around rogue cards or cards that are underlooked or very crazy combo orientated. And it's also for my own channel. Um, but even when I'm building a deck IRL, I do like to kind of look beyond what the card pool is. I like to think outside of the box. Uh, last minute decision, I decided not to do the Flying Pikachu Weezing deck. I unfortunately just, I got destroyed by Lugia in three games. So it's like, I, I don't think the deck was a good call. Um, round one, I played against a Lugia deck. I ended, unfortunately lost. I won the first game and then uh, game two I lost. I conceded pretty quickly. A lot of my draws, I literally like, I would play like a Research or a Marnie and I would not draw into a single way to get a Reggie in play. So it's just unfortunate draws on my end, but we'll have to see how it goes. All right, so the round's getting ready to start. Give us the, the details on what, basically the whole process, figuring out what to do now. So yeah, you go on RK9 Labs and uh, you refresh the page and then the next round is posted to my table 453. So we'll see how this goes. Again, I'm hoping, hoping to win this because we lost the first round, but we'll see where we're up against. I'm still confident in the Reggie deck. You have 50 minutes in round number two. You may begin. Once again, trading card game masters, you may begin. There's actually side events that you could participate in. There's building battles, there's standard format tournaments, and even side events for Go in the VGC. There's also vendors. Uh, Arceus, Diablo, and Palkia. Yeah. Right, if I could get that, and then if I could get the draw energy. Into round three, what's the update? Unfortunately, we are 0-1-2. I tied against a Darkrai V-Star deck. And then round three, I just tucked a tie against a Mew deck, um, which both matchups are like decent for Reggie's too, but the deck has honestly not been drawing very well in those past two games. A lot of the matches are like, I can't find energy cards. I can't find supporters. I'm not out yet, but we'll see how it goes. Some of the best advice I give to a new player getting into a new tournament is honestly, know what you want to bring to the tournament, but also make sure that you practice with the deck and really know the ins and outs to that deck. If you want to play Lost Box, 
to your first ever tournament, make sure you practice with the deck and know all your matchups and know what to do in certain scenarios that pop up with the deck. Say you're not drawing as well as you could be, make sure you know what you need to do in that scenario so that you can still have a chance to stay in the game and win the game. Update here, but also tell us about one of the most important parts of the day going on right now because there's a big crowd. Yeah, right so, so we're on lunch break right now after round four, uh, but unfortunately the food trucks are like out of food so we had to like order food or whatever. Now, the good news is though, I am 1-1-2. One, one, I was able to win my fourth round in the Reggie Mir. Feeling good going into uh, round five after lunch break and I'm really hoping we can pull off the, the next, I think, five wins to get day two. I gotta get proof that you're actually eating, you know? Yeah, make, exactly. Making yeah. sure you're, making sure you're holding sure up to your human. word because you were just like, man, eating's so eating important. important. That's true. That's true. <laughs> So while uh, we're on lunch break here, my uh, local stores in the team challenge right now, we're battling out for top 32. So I'm cheering them on right now, seeing how we do. It looks good. Uh, a couple people on my team have already like won their games, and I just saw uh, one of the opponents just said, I, I'll go first, so that's good. That means they lost their, their game. So hopefully we win. If we win, we get the top 32 Lugia playmats. All right, going into round six. Going to round six, and I am 2-1-2. Two, two. Uh, just beat a Kieran Pelke deck, so we're holding on. I got to win all my games to make day two. All right, it's 6.10 p.m., day one. How are you feeling overall? Feeling good right now. Uh, I am now 4-1-2, so I've been winning all my games, thankfully, since the uh, rough 1-2 uh, start. Uh, if I win my next two rounds, I'm getting into day two at a 6-1-2 record. I'm excited to hopefully get this day two. I'm not loading in. Good luck, y'all. Winning it. Winning it. You have 15 minutes of round number nine. You win again. What's the verdict here? Unfortunately, I lost. I got paired against Arc Duraladon, which I think is a fine matchup. My list plays four Path of the Peak, and that's really good in that matchup. And I played three Regigigas, so it's hard for them to use the Lost City, but my draws, once again, were not very good. In game two, I like struggled to draw well, costing me the game, and yeah, I ended up losing to Arc Dura, which is unfortunate, but you know, I got points at least. Uh, so unfortunately, no day two? No day two, no. But I get points, I think I get 30 points. Puts me to 100 CP right now, so we'll take that. I definitely think some key takeaways uh, after playing a tournament, honestly, is figure out what you did right and what you did wrong in a tournament. If, say, you didn't do as well in the tournament, you lost your winning in, or you just ended up not doing super well in the tournament and you ended up dropping, honestly, don't be too disappointed in yourself. You could definitely improve as a player um, and kind of look back and maybe even take notes of what went wrong in each match. So next time you're in that match and scenario, you know what to do um, instead of doing wrong. And I think this is a big takeaway of what you can do to help improve yourself as a player after a tournament. And honestly, just don't be too hard on yourself. Now I've been to many Pokemon regionals before, not as a competitor, but this was definitely my first time getting a look at the secret life of a competitive Pokemon TCG player. What happens, what goes on? Now I know when you go to a tournament, you want to win. You want to take that first place spot. You want to bring home that trophy, that medal. But at the end of the day, win or lose, if you can take away from your tournament experience, learning something new, making some new friends, reconnecting with old friends, laughing, smiling, just an overall good experience, I would say at the end of the day, you won. I know every time I go, I'm always reconnecting with someone that I haven't seen in a long time, maybe it's years, maybe it's months. And it was so awesome to make some new friends and meet Dylan and Lindsay. Make sure you definitely follow both of them. Little Dark Fury is one of the best out there and I'm so happy to be able to call Little Dark Fury a friend. And throughout the entire Pokemon Regionals experience, Little Dark Fury always had a positive outlook. So make sure you show Little Dark Fury some love and support. Go subscribe to Little Dark Fury here on YouTube, link down in the video description. And a big thank you to the Pokemon Company for gifting me these free passes to regionals. At the end of the day, whatever your dream may be, whether to be a Pokemon World Champion or something else, don't give up on your dream. That's it for today's Pokemon video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out the rest of the videos right over there. We'll see you all in the next video. And don't forget, I love every single one of you all around the world. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.